That's cold, people. I'll find you in the audio room. Oh, boy, Intel's much hype Centrino. They've been leaking information about it for months, some of it true, some of it a little different than we thought. We finally had a chance to get it in. The labs put the systems through their paces. Can you see this? Is it as good as advertised? Tech TV Labs technical analyst Han Choi is here to give us the goods on Centrino. Now, we should point out, everybody thought Centrino was going to be a processor. It's not a processor. It's, it's a mobile technology is the term they're using, but basically right. it's like a platform. So that includes the, a new processor, the Pentium M processor, mm -hmm. 855 chipset, new mm -hmm. chipset, and, and wireless in the form of a PCI card. Exactly. Everybody's like, it's going to have wireless inside the chip. It's going to be, it's a it's mini not, PCI card. It's nothing spectacular in that sense. Right. Right? But the thing is, to get the Centrino name on the notebook. Can we see this? We got a little, I don't know if we can get a tight end shot of that. Yeah. It's actually... That little tiny thing right there, that's the little Centrino badge. To get that badge, though, you have to use Intel's wireless card. And only Intel's wireless only card. Only Intel's wireless card. So if, if one piece of that puzzle is missing, it's not a Centrino notebook. Then you'll see yeah. the Pentium M label on it only. And we should point out, let's, let's get to the Pentium. The Pentium M is a sick mobile processor. It is a, a really impressive processor. The whole system, like with the chipset, because the chipset really is an important right. part of the process. So the chipset and the processor together, mm -hmm. incredible. So far, incredible increases. What's it doing? It's it's good. We're going to show the benchmarks in a second, folks. But what are they doing to actually get the huge increases in battery life and decreases in power consumption? Well, in the past, what they used to do is just throttle the chip up and down mm -hmm. in performance. Now they're doing that, but in combination, they're shutting off sections of the actual chipsets as well. So if the hard drive isn't being used, say you're reading something, mm -hmm. they'll shut the controller off. Really? So they'll shut different sections. There's roughly around 12 regions on the whole system. They'll mm -hmm. they'll shut down. USB ports, another example. If you're not using it, they'll shut it off. 802.11b, if it doesn't receive anything, it stops pulling. It stops, it, well, it increases the time to, between pulls, okay. so in case you do walk into, a, into range. But, you know, right. right now, you're saying they're you're looking for the icon to shut it off. You don't really have to do that anymore. It's all behind us. Check yeah. out the benchmarks. First one coming up here. Lame MP3 encoding. We basically averaged out a bunch of Pentium 4M notebooks versus the Centrino Pentium M notebook. So a Centrino, a Pentium M notebook, is newer than a Pentium 4. Check out the difference. Confused? Yes, actually, I was. 163 seconds for the Pentium M notebooks, 193 seconds on average. That's, what, about a 18% increase? Yeah, it's, a, it's a significant, considering that the clock, keep in mind, the clock speeds are a lot lower, too. Yeah, these so are like 2. Point, what is it, a 2 that, gigahertz and a 1.8 gigahertz. Exactly. So you're talking the, from the high end, the 2.2 mm -hmm. gigahertz, you're saying the, process, the M chips are 5 to you know, 50 percent slower. So basically, so. those are running at 1.4 to 1.6 gigahertz. Yeah. So you're Penny M. Yeah. Considerably lower clock speed. Considerably huge performance. Check this one out. Overall application performance. This is a new benchmark for us. Babco Mobile Mark 2003. What's it testing? It, it actually uses applications, Word, Excel, um, uh, Photoshop. Runs through the you know pay, its paces, but it also tests the battery at the same time. So mm -hmm. you don't have to. You, typically, we would run a, right. a separate script for just battery. But now you're doing it at the same time on the same application. So over the previous 25% slower clock speed, 25% faster. It's pretty impressive. On the applications benchmark. They have a, they have a megabyte of ca level 2 cache in there now. It, it's doubled the cache. Yeah. So that it definitely helps. Cache yeah. always helps with applications. Very nice. Now, yeah. should we show them the battery? Oh, the battery is just, this, this is, is my, oh, this is killer. Check this one out. Battery life. We looked at a ThinkPad X31 versus the previous X30. This is this is actually one of the lower increases. Check out the difference. A 30% increase in battery life from 3 hours and 42 minutes up to 4 hours and 51 minutes. Uh, and the typical we saw anywhere from an hour to a three hour increase in battery life yeah. on notebook models. On the bigger models, they mm -hmm. typically added bigger batteries to compensate okay. for, to get, at, you know, so you we're getting set almost seven hours right. in some notebooks. But, you know, even if you take that out of the picture, it's still a significant improvement. And, and the, keep in mind, the P4 chips are actually going to be using more power right. than the 1.2 Which one? You actually did the calculations. You figured out, because of it, to offset the fact that they were putting huger batteries on these, you actually did the math. What was the, the one you looked at? It basically it went from 18, well, the model of notebook went from 18 watts of, con, of power consumption to 10 watts. Yeah, that was the IBM ThinkPad T30 versus the T40, 40. which were, because they're, you know, one's a follow-on product, basically. Right. So it's about 8-watt savings. 
So Pentium M processor amazing. with the 855 chipset. I think we're going to give it a huge thumbs up. Oh, a huge thumbs up. This is like, we've been waiting for this for such a long time. And when we, you know, P4 launched, they said, oh, it's going to be under a watt of power and all this. But it really didn't show it. it the, the numbers were exactly mm -hmm. the opposite of what they were saying. But this time, they actually delivered. And Which is I'm, a delightful I'm shock. I'm Except for that wireless thing, I'm not, you know, I'm not totally thrilled with that. But just, still, I'm glad they're pushing wireless. And a big company like that pushing wireless really helps all of us. We've got reviews online from IBM. We've got Toshiba and Dell. Gateway is on the way of all the Pentium M processors. What yeah. are talking, is there a huge price increase, a discrepancy between the Pentium 4M and the Pentium M? Actually, all the, basically re replacing the high-end Pentium 4 okay. chip, basically those are dropping in price, and then the this, this Centrino's coming in on top. So it's, it, you're going to see an equal. Except, you know, in some cases, they've added other things, like one of these notebooks has an 80 gig hard drive, which is I've never seen before. Pricey, so. Yeah, yeah you, you pay for that. All right, Han Choi, Tech TV Labs, excellent article up on the screensavers.com. Plus, you can expect it to be back in a few weeks when the 12 new AMD mobile processors that were announced today show up for testing. We're going to have some notebooks with those in them coming up.